Hey everyone, it's Paul. Um, welcome to part two in the creating a linked list project tutorial in C++. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be creating the public section of our interface uh, for the linked list class. So basically, in our public section, we're going to be declaring function prototypes. And uh, the function prototypes are basically telling other parts of our program to expect functions with the parameters that we're going to give them. So specifically we're going to create a file called list.cpp. Right now we're working in list.h and uh, in list.cpp we're basically going to be defining the function prototypes that we're writing in this tutorial but uh, for now we're just going to write the prototypes so that way the rest of the program knows what to expect and these functions in the public section are going to be the functions that can manipulate the data or basically these elements here and uh, they're going to be able to manipulate all this data that is in our linked list and we can access that through the functions so we don't actually access this stuff right here in our um, main file we can only access this information from our public functions so basically we're going to need four different functions we're going to need a constructor function first of all and the constructor function is basically going to set default values for these three variables here head cur and temp and uh, so we need to let the rest of our program know about that function and the way we do that is we just type the name of our class in this case it's list and then we just do an empty set of parentheses and finish it off with a semicolon so that'll let the rest of the program know that we're going to basically set these initial values here once the list item is created. So the next function we need is going to return nothing and so because of that it's going to be a void function it won't return any values and it's basically going to add a node and place a certain value inside of it so we're going to call it add node and it's going to take a integer variable so we're just going to do int and we're going to name our variable add data and end it with a semicolon the next function prototype that we need to create is we're going to use a function that's going to delete a node and it's not going to return any data either so we're just going to type in void delete node and we're also going to have an integer variable go in this function and so we're going to call that variable del data for delete data so basically whatever the value that we pass into the variable delete data that's what the, the delete node function is going to look for it's going to go through the list until it finds some data that matches the value of, de of del data and it's going to delete that node so that's what uh, delete node will do and then the last function that I'm going to show you guys is going to be a print function so we're just going to do void it's not going to return anything either and uh, we're just going to call it print list and it doesn't need to take any arguments and we'll end that with a semicolon as well so these are going to be the four functions, well actually three functions really. This one just kind of we use once. It actually kind of automatically does it once uh, the list item is created. So really we're going to be manipulating these three functions. We're going to be using these three functions in our main program to test to make sure our list is working properly. So stay tuned for the third part of this. I'll be starting to define these uh, functions in part three of this tutorial series. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next lesson and uh, we'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.